Hi guys, so I've just done my gym and my wish hauls, but I'm here with my pregnancy update video. Um, my backdrop is now all the way over there because after I finished filming my wish haul, um, it decided to fall down. I have managed to kind of put it back up, but so if you see the mess in my room, I am so sorry about that. I'm still covered in all my glitter and stuff from my hauls. So anyway, um, today is... Um, Thursday the 25th of January 2018 and I am 22 weeks pregnant I will be 23 weeks on Tuesday oh excuse me so I haven't done a video in quite a while purely because I haven't had really much to update you guys on um, just haven't really had very much energy en energy energy and enthusiasm I don't know whether that's down to the pregnancy or the fact that whilst I'm pregnant I can't currently take any of the medication that I have been taking for my mental health so you know that's probably a huge contributing factor to it the fact that like I haven't got my you know my upbeatness my up and go um so anyway yeah I went for my 22 week scan my 22 I mean my 20 week scan sorry um two weeks ago and I got some pictures is on here so our baby is growing well we found out the sex of the baby can you guys tell me oh wait you probably just even seen what it was written there so if you guys can't already tell I am having a baby boy um, so that means I'm gonna have two boys this one my 11 year old son Ewan um, and also my daughter Jasmine um, who is going to be nine in February so we all thought that we were having a girl because of the cravings that I was having very very sweet cravings um, and how ill I was because when I was pregnant with my daughter Jasmine I was very very ill and I was in hospital a lot of the time but when I was pregnant with my son I wasn't that ill so um, yeah, my health visitor, my health visitor, I mean my midwife, even thought I was having a girl as well. Um, she did uh, something to do with the heartbeat. Like if, if the heartbeat's over a certain amount, then it shows that it's a girl. And if it's under a certain amount, then you, know, you tend to be thinking that you're having a boy. Bear with me two seconds, I've just knocked something over. So, um, so yeah, so we were all very wrong. Um, and yeah, I am having... A lovely little boy which I really don't mind at all um, as long as you know the baby's healthy and stuff I don't really mind what it what it it was going to be really um, so I'm covered in glitter so yeah so uh, what else I have to go for measurement scans um, at 28 weeks 32 weeks 36 weeks and 40 weeks because obviously I'm a small person um, they just want to make sure that baby is growing um, to the correct sizes and stuff which I'm pretty sure it will considering my son was £8.2 and my daughter was £7.10 um, this one should hopefully be a pretty good weight as well so um, pardon me so yeah, so I normally show you my baby bump. So as you can see, my baby bump has grown. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will often see that I do put up a baby bump uh, picture. So you can see how well I'm doing. So yeah, that is my 22 week baby bump. And I have uh 18 just under 18 weeks left because as i said on tuesday i will be 23 weeks um so yeah so we're currently just still trying to find somewhere else to move to because um obviously um i had an occupational therapist out a while ago so i have to move on medical grounds anyway but um we live up quite a few flights of stairs and um in a one bedroom flat so getting up these stairs with a push chair and a baby i will not be able to do it um 
my osteoporosis in my back like prevents me from going up and down the stairs a lot anyway um so yeah so we're still trying to find somewhere to move to which is an absolute nightmare because there isn't very many i'm bidding every week um and like not very many things come up and it will be um some point in february that i can start bidding on two bedroom properties so if i get one of these one bedroom properties that i'm bidding on then that means that i have to move again so but anyway you know it will be okay um i've basically got everything that i need for the baby i've got the push chair the car seat you know i've got a three-in-one travel system um i don't know if you can see you might not be able to see at the back there but i have got um the Moses basket, I've got, you know, like the sterilizer, I've got bottles, we've got change bag, the a baby carrier, a baby bath. We've got a few bits of clothes, um, a few bits of bedding. Uh I got a baby bean bag the other day from baby from Bean Bag Planet or something. And um there was this option on there where you could tick for them to fill up the bean bag for you for an extra three ninety nine. And I thought to myself, Oh, I'll be able to do it, it won't be that hard. So me and my <laughs> me and my partner tried doing it the other day. Luckily, I did it over the bath with the plug-in because all of the beads went everywhere. I shall get my partner to send me the video off of his phone onto my phone, and I shall put that up on Instagram. Um, so, like in the next day, or maybe later on today, um, I shall do that, and um, you guys can see the utter mess that it made. So we were getting jugs and we were filling them up with all these little balls and pouring it back into the bean bag, which was so funny. So if you guys do decide to get one of those for your babies and you have the option of having it filled, I suggest you go for the option of having it filled and then you won't have to go through all the palaver that we went through. Um, so I'm just seeing if I can brush this off a minute because it's really irritating me now. Um, so yeah, so as I said... Oh, I've got the baby monitors as well. You know, those of you that follow me on Instagram would have seen that a few weeks ago. Um, so, yeah, so uh, I'm getting pretty prepared and pretty, you know, doing pretty well. My friend, um, Suddenly21, um, she, oh, she sent me some things from Texas for the baby. Like some ba a baby bib and um, some baby hats. And oh my gosh, they are absolutely gorgeous. And the bib is so nice and soft. Absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, so you all know that I'm quite um, into like my superheroes and stuff. So you obviously know that this baby is going to have a lot of superhero baby grows and um, outfits. Which, you know, what do you, what do you expect? <laughs> from a mum and dad that love Marvel and DC and Star Wars and stuff. So, um, so yeah, so I shall do another pregnancy update video at some point when there's slightly more for me to tell you guys. Um, yeah, as I said, I've got my, um, some more scans, measurement scans, um, coming up. Um, I think my next one is March. Yeah, March. Um, so yeah, so that that would be quite interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for all of my subscribers and stuff as well, and people that are sticking with me, even though it takes me quite a while now to like upload videos and stuff. Like you still all tend to stay with me, which I really appreciate. Um, so any, if you've got any questions or anything, just leave them down below in the comments and. I always reply, as you guys know, I, I do like to reply to you all. Um, you take the time to watch my videos and leave questions, so I I like to reply. And I, it's quite nice that, um, you know, I've got some bonds with some of you, um, which I quite like and that. So, so, yeah, all in all, pretty happy. So, sorry this is a short and sweet video, but... Yeah, I haven't really got much else to say, really, or, like, inform you guys on. So, um, my partner's mum is a trainee midwife, and, um, so she's been helping me out a lot if I've had any questions or anything, um, and, like, when I haven't been feeling very well, she's been brilliant, so that's really handy to have, uh, her doing her, her midwifery stuff, and, um, 
Yeah, so now that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, both my kids are dead excited about having a, having a, a new baby. Um, and I'm just eating loads. <laughs> so um, I hope you all keep safe, keep your family close and safe next to you. You never know when things are going to happen. Um, if you fall out with them, make sure that you make up pretty quickly because... It's it's never really nice to like be falling out with your family. You know, family's really important, and um, they were there when you're born, and they're going to be there when well, touch wood, they're going to, you know, be there through the rest of your life and stuff. Um, like whereas I I've been adopted, so my adoptive family. You know, they say that you can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends. But obviously, in some situations, you can choose your family. And I just think it's really important that whether it's not your biological family or it's like um, your mother-in-law or your father-in-law and or you've got like stepbrothers and sisters or anything, it's just very important that you try and keep a nice bond with them because you never know when you're going to need them, you know. And it's not nice to when you need somebody that you haven't got anybody to turn to. So, yeah, just try and keep keep close to your family and stuff you know and try not to argue which is very hard I know that <laughs> trust me I know that anyway I am jabbering now so I'm gonna go I'm gonna let you all carry on with whatever you're doing and I shall see you all very soon thank you once again for watching this and um much love to you bye oh excuse me bye